Hello and welcome back again to the course Mastering Retaining Walls and Shoring Systems using Plexes 2D. This is tutorial number 28, Procedure Static Analysis of Cantilever Retaining Wall using Plexes 2D. So uh, this is one of the simplified uh, seismic analysis and I will show you how we can uh, perform uh, this analysis in Plexus 2D in this uh, lecture. So we have a cantilever retaining wall like uh, this one. Uh, the soil stratigraphy uh, consists of two uh, soil layer and we have a cantilever retaining wall modeled uh, using a plate element and also we have a fill and surcharge a lot. And uh, so in uh, this lecture, we will have introduction to uh, Pseudo static analysis and also how we can perform this uh, type of analysis in Plexus 2D and how it affected the factor of safety of uh, global factor of safety of the retaining wall. And also we will uh, see and talk about the horizontal and vertical uh, seismic coefficient. So actually I will not uh, model this uh, tutorial from the beginning. I will uh, import uh, this tutorial from uh, tutorial number 11. So if you remember in tutorial number 11, we have uh, this, uh, we had uh, this uh, uh, problem. Cantilever simulation of cantilever retaining wall using plate element. So we will uh, try uh, perform or apply this uh, static uh, per pseudo static analysis uh, to this example. So first of all, I will uh, try to save it under uh, the name of tutorial twenty eight. So we click on file and uh, save project as and uh, paste the title and click on here so this is uh, from uh, tutorial number 11 we had initial uh, phase we had a retaining wall and after that we had a backfill and then search search load and after that safety factor so i will run uh, this example now and you will uh, see the factor of safety and after that, we will uh, apply uh, procedure static analysis and we will uh, see how it affected the factor of safety of the retaining wall. So as we can see, it is being calculated and uh, maybe the factor of safety is near to one point okay we can check the safety factor so we can see the factor of safety is about 1.485 and so before performing uh, the procedure static uh, coefficient in plexus in here I will uh, so right now we will see how uh, this uh, uh, procedure static or simplified dynamic uh, analysis affected the factor of safety or global factor of safety for this retaining wall. So we can see it's been calculated and we can check the safety factor and we have reached a safety factor it is about 1.2 while a static safety factor was about 1.48 so for a dynamic uh, safety factor if it is 1.2 it is okay and most of the practice code says uh, dynamic uh, safety factor for uh, slopes or retaining wall the minimum required safety factor is 1.1 so if it is uh, greater than 1.1 uh, it means it is okay and acceptable we can also check the failure uh, surface as we can see 
and if I click on the formation total displacement we can see this is a most critical failure uh, surface in a uh, procedure static analysis and if I click in here we can see there's a small uh, difference between uh, them and uh, also we can check the deformation in here we can uh, see the maximum uh, deformation is 8 cm and if I click on search search load we can see the maximum deformation is 0.05 which is a 5 cm it means in a case of residue uh, static analysis the deformation also increases so we can uh, check the horizontal displacement so as we can see and uh, also we can uh, check the vertical displacement so we can see uh, the vertical displacement the maximum displacement is 0 0.06 uh, meter it means 6 centimeter and in uh, static analysis it is about uh, 5 uh, centimeter so this was uh, for this lecture i hope it was uh, clear and useful thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial